Expect at the center of this weekend's Amber Alert is now in the Chippewa County Jail awaiting charges. He was taken into custody after an Amber Alert was issued Saturday for a missing Chippewa County teenager. Julia Lopez has been talking with the Sheriff's Department and joins us in studio with new details in this case. So Julia, what have you learned? Keith, Chippewa County Sheriff Jim Kowalczyk told me the victim had been groomed for over a year. This is the latest mugshot of Trevor Blackburn. Kowalczyk says the 22-year-old from Tennessee connected with 15-year-old Chrissy King of Holcomb online in the summer of 2021. He says that began a series of inappropriate and illegal posts that launched an investigation between the Chippewa County Sheriff's Office, the Department of Homeland Security, and the FBI. Fast forward to this past Saturday, October 1st, Kowalczyk says Blackburn went to King's home that morning. That was the first time they had met in person. King was reported missing that same day by her father, who hadn't seen her since 1130 Friday night. Kowalczyk says Blackburn did not have a car. After the kidnapping, he burglarized a home on the same street as King's house and stole food and money. He says Blackburn was keeping King in the woods outside of Cornell, all within five to six miles of King's home. They were, uh, to the best of our knowledge, always on foot. So again, uh, traveling, and that is a very wooded, uh, heavily wooded area up there. Um, again, uh, if, if uh, you don't want to be found in uh, a wooded area, it's very easy to conceal yourself and, uh, and, and not be found. Kowalczyk says yesterday evening, King arrived at a home east of Cornell alone and contacted authorities, telling them Blackburn was likely going to stay with someone he knew up in Superior in Douglas County. The Chippewa County Sheriff's Office worked with Douglas County law enforcement to ping Blackburn's phone, conduct a stop and arrest him. Blackburn is being held in the Chippewa County Jail awaiting a bond hearing. Kowalczyk told me his office would recommend charges of burglary, kidnapping and other charges are pending investigation. According to the Chippewa County Sheriff's Office, at the time of the Amber Alert, Blackburn had active federal warrants, though we don't know what those warrants were or if they were connected to this case. Kowalczyk says King is now at home safe with her family and is not hurt. Okay, thanks, Julia. Blackburn will be in Chippewa County Court tomorrow at 10 a.m.